So we're going to keep going inwardly just for the next coil. I have made these coils shorter and it's completely up to you how high you want the neck to be but I'm just going to go in a little bit more. And I'm pinching with my thumb and my first finger, my, my index finger. It certainly helps to have a, a banding wheel to do this, but if you don't have it, don't worry if you don't have one. You could use a um, small tray and just spin it round. It's just so the idea is that you can move it whilst you're applying these coils. So I'm still going inwards. But now. I'm just going to cut that off. And whilst I still can, I'm going to go inside and just firm as much as I can. All the while keeping your hand on the outside to keep its form as much as possible. So I'm going to make the neck of the vase now, so we're going straight up. So that's why I'm scoring the very top of this last coil. Right, you can see I've made it slightly thinner and shorter. Firming down. And then I'm going to do on top again. can just keep going but I just want to assess it at each stage. Now we are going to be smoothing the outside so it will naturally get taller but I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to stop there. And I'm uh, going to let that firm up a little bit and then we can start to shape it from the outside. So I'm just going to smooth the top now because we, we've done this section earlier. I'm just making sure that the coils are relatively smoothed out. You can 
can see it's rippling, so it's still quite malleable, which is fine for this stage. And you'll feel it growing as you smooth it out. So it's growing in height. But if you use your um, other hand just to keep it in place, then you shouldn't get any bulges where you don't want them. Right, so we've smoothed inside. Um, just to make sure that the inside is sealed as much as possible and we've let it firm up a little bit. So we're now going to concentrate on sorting out the outside. If you like this effect, then you could just go around and use a sponge to perhaps smooth any lines that you have left over from the cross hatching. Otherwise, I'm going to show you how to smooth it completely. So I'm going to take the butter knife just going to wipe it down. Just using some water. I'm just going to use this to smooth it out. All the while I'm using my finger just to keep it keep it shape. So we've gone round and smoothed the uh, sides. I'm just going to do the base now, um, and I'll show you how we can bring it in. So we're just going to smooth it with the knife again. You can see we're bringing in the profile gradually. So you can see I've gone round the edge. You don't have to make it so prominent. Um, you, if you want to round it, you just keep smoothing it. But I quite like the, uh, the prominent angle that's developing as I go round. Um, and then you can let it, you can see it's still quite soft, so you can let it firm up more and you can keep smoothing it. And as you do, you'll see that it grows a little bit. If you get any cracking at the top, don't worry, because you can use the knife again. Just to, maybe I'll use the other knife I have. take off a little bit and then you can pinch depends what um, you would like the rim to be like but you could pinch it but I'm gonna leave it quite smooth and slightly rounded So down here is going to be wetter because there's um, obviously more clay and up here is going to be drying a little bit quicker. So I've just got some cling film and I'm just going to cover this whilst I work on the rest of the piece. So try and consider how you would like your foot ring to be. Whilst keeping in mind that this is a handmade object, just using tools that 
you can find in your kitchen drawer. So um, I've smoothed all over just with the butter knife and I've smoothed here as well and you can keep going until you um, reach the, the finish that you want but I was just going to demonstrate um, adding a texture. I've just got a shell here um, but you could use a fork or any kind of serrated edge or any kind of texture that you'd like to press in. I just thought it might be nice to add some texture to the base. So I'm going to put it on the very edge. You can press it or you can scrape it. You can mix it up. 